right, so this is the cross-platform app that uh, focus on the forum app and the name of this application is Tech Forum. and okay let's now jump into the code um, as you can see here uh, first of all I would like to uh, introduce uh, the plugins that I have used in this um, project so as you can see there is a plugin for the camera device orientation a screen orientation and also the slash screen okay so now let's move to the about page as you can see right here uh, I have used the uh, I have created a function and I call it in the HTML files so let's now move to the about.ts as you can see right now, um, this is the I have import it from this profile because um when let's say this one uh, about HTML I click on that um particular button and it will link to the it will link to the login page and as you can see this one. So that's why I need to import it from a login and also the of uh, the function itself. Uh, I use the nav control push and login page. This is the function I, I that I call from the about html as uh, seen here. Okay, the same as uh, for um, go to profiles, uh, go to following, go to followers. It all work the same and now let's uh, go to the tab okay so this is the tab um, the app that I implemented has three tabs as you can see here um, this is the tab page there are three tabs uh, home page about page and setting page so uh, in order to use it I need to import it as well from home setting and about and uh, this is the Ionic uh, tabs tag that I have uh, that I need to use. Uh, so uh, before I can use the tab in the app, I need to also implement it in the app dot components. Uh, I need to import it right here, uh, the tab page, and get it from tabs. Okay, and not only that, I need to use the root page. I set it from the tab page as well. So for a uh, tab, that basically it. I need to import it in the app components. And now let goes to the app uh, module. And as you can see here, uh, because I use uh, many, I, I have created many pages. That's why I need to uh, import it one by one. And this is the device orientation, screen orientation, as I uh, described in the plugin. Okay, so um, not only that here, uh, the ng module for definition, I need to import uh, all of the page that I have created, and as well as the entry components. I need to import all of them, so that's why I, I, I can use it and this is for the screen orientation and device orientation now let's see the home page yes um, so here I use uh, Ionic segment it is a, a tag or a type of um, Ionic tag that I display that in onto the top bar of the screen so you will see this uh, when I run it on the real device the same, uh, this one I use uh, Ionic card and you will see uh, what it look like for the Ionic card with the item and uh, Ionic avatar. This work with the roll and column and the same. Okay, so now let's go to the, um, this is the legal page. Uh, for the legal page, you can see that I use uh, a tag, which uh, let's say uh, I want to link that 
uh, the the word right here ionic forum I want to link it to um, another web page so that's why I need to use this one post profile okay this here is setting is for sign up okay so here uh, I use the ng module equal gender so when uh, the user press on uh, to choose uh, whether the gender is male or female it will just pop up a dialog to the user so that uh, they can click once so this uh, will be the ng models and uh, here I use a div tag uh, to center all the text okay so for the login page as you can see uh, for the type I will use it as a password so when the user uh, while they're tapping uh, the password onto the app it will just show uh, the dot which means that the password is hidden and for the login.scss uh, this is the um, CSS code um, so I set this one first to um, ionic label dot font and I set the font uh, of the app and also uh, the font that will be displayed and the font size the color and align it in the, uh, in the center so when I want to call it um, I just use the uh, ionic label class uh, font because I declare it here as a label dot font so the reason why I uh, created so many um, different pages are seen here so this is because um, of uh, using this framework which is the Ionic one so it work uh, a bit different from uh, another Cordova so for error handling and exception uh, I will implement that uh, function t uh, while working on another project so this is because um, this version or uh, this project right now uh, focusing only on the um, UI and UX so that's why uh, I didn't uh, implement that function when there is an error uh, sh uh, show up uh, unexpectedly so it will just uh, send all of that error message to another separate log file so um, for this project uh, I did not implement that um, particular error handling so for uh, upcoming version or upcoming uh, project I will do it one more thing is that uh, Ionic which is a framework that I'm used with the um, Cordova it Basically, the functionality of the app that I will be implemented uh, is using Angular language while let's say for Cordova, it mainly focus on the JavaScript. So this is uh, working with the TypeScript or uh, I can say that it's a work with the uh, Angular. And I will also run this uh, application onto a real iOS device so that you can see how that application uh, really works. Have two uh, platform right here, which is Android and iOS. And this is the resource with the icon. This icon, as you can see, and also the um, the plush. Okay, so this is the Tech Forum app that is um, implemented using the Ionic Cordova. And now let's tap and run the application. This is the plus screen. As you can see here, this is the UI and UX of, of the application. And as you can, at uh, the bottom of the screen, there are three tabs as I um, mentioned it in the first um, first video with the text editor explaining the code. And here you can see 
on the top of the screen there's a button on the left uh, this is the uh, post which allow user to post any question onto the forum and the tab next to it is the new let's say there's a new uh, forum post uh, when a user click on that one it will just show uh, sorted by the date and the hot which one is a uh, popular and on the top right hand side this is the um, search this is the search function okay now let's see this is the post as you can see the um the user who posts the question or the um new information about uh, any new technology and there's a like button uh, the comment and the bookmark and also with the time and now let's scroll down as you can see this is the anyway not, uh, right now I could not uh, press on this uh, image so it will link to another page it is because uh, I just created uh, the UI of this uh, application and none of the uh, button will work right now and here the same okay so now let me press the profile tab this is the profile of uh, me or the current user and when I press on the edit profile it will link to another page with this is uh, the name uh, of the user and the about and also when the user would like to change the new password they can do so by pressing on here and after um, doing so they can just press on the tick on the top um, right above the screen and let's say if the user want to change the profile picture they can do so that I press on here uh, as I mentioned it in the uh, while explaining the code um, there is a plug-in that I use which is the camera and right now it uh, doesn't work so now when I press on the following um, there is a user that uh, I'm following right now I want to unfollow the user email that contact with that uh, user the same with the followers user that is following me and I can just press follow them back email more and for the sign in when I press the sign in it will link to another page which uh, allow user to sign in using their uh, register account with the username and the password let's say the user don't have the account yet uh, and they want to sign it up they can press on the sign in button and it will link to another page uh, so as you can see there's a uh, created with the username or the gender and it will uh, and a dialog pop up uh, to let the user choose whether uh, the gender is male or female the email the password and also the confirm password and after finishing that they can just press on the sign up button okay so uh, that uh, let's say this is the first tab and I click another sign in and sign up it will just link to another uh, page and okay so now let me mention about one more things let's say I would like to just press on uh, any text box and you can see that the keyboard will just pop up so the entire screen uh, did not just uh, disappear uh, behind the keyboard it will just push all of that a uh, text spot on an entire screen uh, to goes up so that uh, it will just let the user type the information without any um, distraction by the keyboard and and now let's go to the uh, setting page when I press on the about uh, let's say there's a term in service a uh, privacy policy uh, right now I cannot press on the um, this page yet uh, I will implement that in the upcoming uh, project or version and now let press let me press on the legal page and it will um, show a list of 
um, images that I have used. So let's say uh, I now turn the internet on and when I press on the link it will just link me to this um, page which is the source that I have used. As you can see the picture uh, right here is what I have used. Now let me go back here go to the um, so about the post notification, email notification, send feedback, read us and sign out I haven't implemented the function or the page created for that uh, yet and I will do it for the next uh, project and below here there's a version of the app which is version 1.0 okay so uh, that all of the UX of the um, app okay so one more thing uh, before I finish it up I will rotate the screen so you will see whether the screen adapt the orientation of the app of the mobile uh, correctly or not okay so here I have just rotated uh, the mobile device and you can see everything's adapt perfectly when I press profile page the same nothing not a big problem it just adapt screen perfectly